Well, they are not knocking the D2 National Wrestling Championship anymore because now Kamal Usman has some UFC gold to go with it. A huge effort to dethrone Tyron Woodley not all that long ago, and now Usman's got that target on his back. And he also has an undying belief in himself. He believes that all the hard work, the result will show when he steps in the octagon. He has underrated striking. And because everyone fears his wrestling, a lot of his striking opportunities open up even more. But the moment Usman grabs you, he can control you in a way that not many guys in the UFC can. We saw that in the Whitley fight. We saw it in the Dos Santos fight. That's why he is the best fighter at 175. And when your bout agreement says Kamar Usman on it, get ready. For Grab a lunch pill. Grab a lunch pill. <laughs> like a helmet, too, if that's allowed. Kamar Usman getting ready to go here tonight. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, we send it inside the octagon to the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 19 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida. Introducing the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last day of Bender. This is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my favorite. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. Very compelling matchup for fight fans around the world. And going to be very interesting to see how soon the grappler goes for the takedown. Well, he's gonna try to get the takedown right away. But when he shoots that shot, when he changes that level, he is going to be shooting into a guy that truly understands all aspects of mixed martial arts. I'm wondering how, if his first shot doesn't work, does he approach trying to get this fight to the ground? Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Right hand punches the clinch. And they separate. Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range 
tonight he needs to use his jab, use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start thinking about striking. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. He loaded up on that right hand, too. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need to control posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. So 31 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Big kick land. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Double leg, stuffed. So there it is, taller fighter landing a knee with the body. That was a nice strike. Oh. Take him down, cut him. Take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Adesanya. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, big elbow. Ooh, what a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, wow, oh! in the fight. Wow! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went to a single switch. So high punch. Oh! Big slam takedown. That was beautiful. Close guard. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. 10 seconds to go. Single collar tie now. Round two next. Yeah, All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. All right, both fighters now ready to go with round ready, two. Fight. Israel Adesanya. And Kamaru Usman. Really? Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Big hook. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this 
fight. He got him. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's gonna leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. And he switches to Southpaw. Oh! Oh, straight right. I don't know if you know jiu-jitsu much. You miss a lot of your classes. If I'm gonna do this to anybody, it's Anik. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Adesanya's back in full guard. While the ground and pound has been on point tonight, good work here by Ustrich. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Israel Adesanya's kick to the body is blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Whiffs on the straight right hand. 89 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. And pretty efficient thus far, landing 73% of attempts against Israel Adesanya. Oh, he's a joke. He's no bad. Oh! Oh, straight right. Full guard here, DC. We'll see how soon he tries to pass. Well, he needs to be passing immediately. In the full guard is where you are in most danger as a top fighter because they have all of their submissions. Right. They have the guillotine. They have the arm bar. They have the kimuras. They have all their locks when they're in the full guard. So if you pass, you really do limit the danger that you're in from the top position. Nice hammer fist. Two minutes remain in the round. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He had hurt. Gets up again here, but hurting. Nice punch by Usman. Takedown defense holds up. Right hand punch to the clinch. Good exchange there inside. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout line! He tasted that knockout line! Oh, oh my goodness! What a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Back inside the arena now, we go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 36 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout, and his corner is absolutely thrilled.